Welcome to Hypixel, the home of Minecraft multiplayer. Today, I'm logging in to the world's most popular Minecraft server to try out all of the game modes and put them onto a tier list and then give you guys my thoughts. To get a genuine experience of the server, I'm playing on a brand new account that people won't recognize me by. My first order of business was to beg for a rank in Lobby 1. I'm not even joking, this didn't even take 5 minutes. I am shocked at how good this worked. Before we jump into the first game mode, I'm going to talk about this video's sponsor, Core. Core is a new online platform that lets anyone play and create PC games for free. It's powered by the Unreal Engine and already has a ton of different games in your favorite genres, such as shooters, RPGs, sims, and more. And because anyone has the power to create their own game, you'll find a lot of fun ways to pass your time. I've been playing Farmer's Market where you collect and sell crops to buy more upgrades for your farm. And I actually like this game because it's just simple farming and I don't gotta worry about being in first place or not. There's new games being made every day for you to build, battle, and explore with friends. And if you ever wanted to make your own game, Core is a great opportunity to start right now with no coding experience required. They even provide thousands of free high quality sounds, music, and art assets to create with. Core's hosting the Winter Blizzard Blitz Tournament with $6,000 of prizes. It's a player tournament from December 17th to the 22nd where three of Core's most popular games will be updated with holiday decorations and a leaderboard for the tournament. This month, Core is partnering with Global Game Jam on the Holiday Jam. So starting December 17th, you'll have three weeks to create a game using Core. With $10,000 in cash prizes and 10 potential winners, there's never been a better time to get started. Find all the details and sign up for free through the links in the description. How do you play Vampire Z? Well, I hope it gives me a tutorial because no one plays this. Am I supposed to be rating this? Because this is way too fast. Oh. Go team, go! Yeah, I didn't really know what to do in this game, so I tried just copying what everyone else was doing, and that's when I realized that everyone else is just as confused as me. It seems we're given a manual here to read before the game starts. It's uh, seven pages long, like, uh, hello? I'm, um, I'm happy for you or sorry that happened. I, I just ain't gonna read all that, like, yikes. Eventually, I found out that the only way for you to win as a survivor is to buy gear using your coins. So that's exactly what I did, and I actually won one. I won! I won! You see, so the issue here is I got less coins for winning than it actually costed me to get the win. But a win is a win, I guess. Because the game is so one-dimensional in the sense that you could just spend coins every game and almost guarantee yourself a win, I'm gonna have to place this in the E tier. Alright, the next game mode we're playing is, uh, Quakecraft. Uh, I'm pretty sure you just right-click people, and that's, like, the whole game. Dude, I, I suck balls at this, I'm not even gonna lie. Boom. Oh. Wait, the, the game's over already? What happened? What, what happened? Kinda just a point-and-click game, huh? You know, we'll, we'll turn on hitboxes. Hit. Boxes. So that way, I could more easily see the outline of someone like that, you see? Oh, humbling, isn't it? It's... What, what happened? The thing about playing dead game modes is that the only people that really play it are on the leaderboards. So this guy won the game in about a minute. I just looked at the shop and there's upgrades that let you shoot twice as fast, so... That's pretty annoying if you're a new player. This game's really not that bad, there's just not enough progression to make me want to play this every day. Other than versing the leaderboard players every game and waiting a little bit for the queue to start, uh, I'm gonna have to give this a C, it really wasn't that bad. Alright, the next game mode we're going into is Paintball Warfare. What is, what is going on? Uh, oh, I actually killed someone. Okay, it's, it's really just a snowball. Okay, a team, we cannot be getting mopped like this. There's no way, right? This guy doesn't know I'm here. Oh, I took out your amigo. How do you feel about that? Wait, I'm actually going crazy. Is there anything else I could buy? Uh, a nuke? What? 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 Dude, I really don't have anything, huh? Ha oh, my, my teammate got a nuke. Good looks, brother. Good looks, teammate. 
Other than the sound of a wild banshee shrieking in my ear every few seconds because someone activated a nuke, this game's actually not all that bad, and there is some pretty cool stuff you can unlock using your killstreaks. This game mode gets a B because it's pretty easy to just pick up and play a few games and understand what's going on. You know what, that actually gets a C because of how annoying that is. Alright, the next game mode we're gonna go into is Arena Brawl. How do I play this? No idea, I haven't played. <laughs> yeah, it seems ever- no one, no one knows how to play, no one knows what this is. Okay, well, I guess right click is my attack. Oh yeah. Oh, oh wait, we could hit each other too. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm going into jitter click mode. It's over for you. Let's go! Um, that, that wasn't really too satisfying to play. I, I can't even lie to you. I, I don't- I don't even know- <laughs> Okay! It seemed I just knew how- that I should be using my right click more than he did, but... I, that's that's about it. That's a, that's about as far as that game mode will probably go. This game mode gets an E because it kind of sucks balls. No one knows how to play it. It takes ages to start. The wins aren't satisfying, and it just sucks balls. All right, I guess the, the next game mode we're gonna queue into is the walls. Do you know? Before we even do this, I'm gonna look at the shop and see what there is. Uh, it's basically just their spawn kit, from what I understand. Berserk it, enemy kills give you strength, give you a five second strength buff. Okay, that's actually really good. Huh. Oh! You run down your chest route, mine all the iron you need, you go up to surface and you stand there for six minutes because you have nothing better to do. Or if you're my teammate, you just stand on surface the whole time. Yeah, yeah th there you go. The walls drop and you try to compete for the powerful loot in between them. Get out of my inventory soup! Oh my god! What the heck? Not a chance, buddy, not a chance. I have a diamond sword, and you do not. Go, go, go! Oh my- Oh my gosh! It Wait, that's the last guy! Wait! My teammates swept everyone else in the game because they actually knew what they were doing. Oh, he's dancing with me! He's dancing with me! The first 10 minutes of every game are basically the same depending on what map you play because each map has its own route you run to get all the chest loot. Like a lot of the team games on Hypixel, this is one where if your team isn't as coordinated as the other teams, you're probably just gonna lose. Oh my gosh, I, I had a good run. I had a good run for sure. This is definitely a game mode that you would enjoy more if you're playing with friends. I'm gonna have to place it at a C because some of the kits and perks that are important are very expensive. Oh, also, I could see it getting repetitive very quickly. Next up is Turbo Kart Racers. This is one of those game modes that looks really weird if you're not playing with the custom texture pack they made. But the problem is with that is every time you load one in, it feels like your game is about to crash. Yeah, we couldn't even get a game to start. No one was joining at all. I could have waited there an hour. It probably wouldn't have started. So, uh, this is going in uh, bottom of the barrel F. The next game mode we're going to be playing is Blitz Survival Games. Oh, oh my gosh. This guy thinks it's like 1.10 or something. 1.16 PvP. Come here, boy. They cross team and get away from me. Get away from me. Oh my gosh. This person just look at their gear. Enchanted iron sword. Oh my, just can't be stopped. Just can't be stopped. That's the power of kits in this game mode, huh? That's the power. It was a, it was a turning point for him. Oh yeah, thanks for the kill, buddy. Oh my gosh, I could actually win this. Help me. Yes. Why are you doing this? You absolute fool. 
Alright, I'm gonna have to place this game onto an E tier just because of how kit reliant it is, making it not very enjoyable unless you have a max kit. Alright, the next game mode is gonna be Mega Walls. Okay, right off the bat, this game took like almost 10 minutes to start, so there's already docked points. Similar to the walls, I'd for sure say this game has very repetitive starts. Bonus points for not giving way too much time to mine. I really didn't know what to do the first game, so I spent a lot of time just bow spamming in mid. Yeah, how do you feel about that, buddy? How do you feel about that? Probably not very strongly. If I had to guess. I lost this game because I got separated from my team and singled off. Oh my gosh, w what is my luck? What is my luck? What is my luck? I got it! I got a final kill! Let's go, Pog Champ! I'm right here. What the heck? Uh, yeah, I don't, I, uh, this guy, I think he might be hacking a little bit. Oh, We're, we could do it as a team. Oh, yeah, there were multiple hackers in oh. our game and our hacker killed their hacker. So we eventually won. Mega Walls is a D for the following reasons. It's pay to win because the shop is extremely expensive to get a max kit. There's hackers in every game. Games take ages to start. And if your team doesn't know what they're doing, you're just gonna get rolled. Next game up is Warlords. Alright, it's starting finally after like 15 minutes of waiting. The whole game's just confusing. I don't even know what's going on. Alright, because of the queue time, the resource pack you have to use, the confusion, because I don't know what's going on. This is going to have to go into F tier, because uh, that game mode sucks. The next mode we're going to be playing is Sky Wars. I killed myself with a pearl. I killed myself with a pearl. Hey, settle down, amigo. Oh, you weren't expecting that one. I know it. Oh! H how did he win that? Someone explain how he won that. I got a, I got a strategy. Uh, I, I didn't even jump. I forgot to jump. I forgot to jump. Great. Oh! Get away from me! Oh, I got two shot! What is going on? What, what, why is it in the wrong slot? What What happened? C can I- you think I could just run to mid? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> <gasps> I, I died to the pearl again. I died- I, I keep dying to the pearl. Oh! <gasps> Oh my- I, I don't- I, I don't got it. I, I don't got it like that. I'm not a Sky Wars YouTuber. Please! Give me first win. Please. Oh! Oh my god, I did it! I did it! Oh my gosh! You've been deceived and bamboozled, you absolute fool! That was actually really good. I'm putting that as an A tier. Uh, all I'll say about that is if you don't have good kits or perks, definitely play insane mode instead of normal. Next up is extremely popular Bed Wars. Yes, I'm aware I'm slow at bridging, guys. You don't have to remind me. How the heck is he here? Yes, get off the get off the map, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh shoot. Oh my gosh, that block hit won me that fight. All 
Are you kidding me? <gasps> no! He was invis! What the heck? Bad Wars definitely deserves an S tier just for how fun it is. There's tons of different playstyles you could choose from and you just have to find one that works for you. The shop is purely cosmetics and doesn't provide any sort of in-game advantage. Another thing I think is cool is your Bed Wars level, it's just another piece of progression to work towards. Next game up is Murder Mystery. This whole game mode is basically just looking for 10 gold and hoping to land your one arrow shot on the murderer. Oh! He's over there! He's going on a rampage! What happened? Oh! Oh my gosh! The flick shot! I'm insane! I'm insane! That was all me, baby! All me! Murder Mysteries getting placed on E tier because it's basically the same thing game after game and it doesn't require very much skill. Next up is housing. Well, th this is housing. This ba this basically sums it up. I I'm in someone's house. Well, I, I fell through the floor in this guy's house, and uh, now I'm I'm in his basement, I guess. Housing is getting placed on an F just because I don't even understand what you're supposed to do. Yeah, you, know, you kind of just walk around people's houses, and that's it. Build battle is up next. In build battle, you have five minutes to build something that best represents the chosen theme. Oh. He, he used a super vote. Self-portrait. Oh my, that looks freaking hideous, man. That looks hideous. What is this? Oh, this is all he did? Oh, I'll give this a, I'll give this an okay. You know, I'll give this a good. Huh? Yo, I am not putting that on video. That's inappropriate. What the heck? Uh, another, another phallic object? Are you, are you serious? Really? Are you kidding? Uh, build battles getting an F tier because everyone was trolling. Cops and crims. This game is just CSGO and Minecraft, but CSGO is free now, so you have no reason to play this at all. Smash Heroes! Okay, okay, I need to calm down. Uh, ooh, get ready? What yeah. is that? What is, uh, what is that sound? I, I didn't edit that in, that's actually a part of the game. I, I, I'm, I'm seriously confused, like... Uh, uh, oop, oop. I, I have no idea what to do. I don't even think I have to say anything here. You guys already know where this one's gonna go. Next up is The Pit. The Pit is one of those game modes where you kind of just drop down and fight, and there's not really a beginning or an end to it. There's a nice progression system where after you prestige at level 120, you get to pick a permanent perk to unlock. What the heck is this guy doing? Uh, this guy's hacking. Let's try to kill him. Oh! Okay, well, that took about 10 seconds to find a hacker, huh? And every kill, you get some XP, which helps you level up. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, this guy's hacking. Oh, okay. Get off of me, get away from me! Thank you, he actually listened, wow. Alright, this is just a clicking game. There's random events every once in a while that makes it a lot easier to get coins and XP. Like this one, where you eat cake. Oh my, oh my gosh, this guy's going crazy! Uh-oh. I killed him! I killed the hacker! If you're alright with the absurd amount of clicking you're gonna have to do, then you'll find that the pit is a really fun game out to just pick up and play for any amount of time you want. Because of the amount of hackers and how much clicking you have to do, the pit gets a B. The last two games are UHC and Speed UHC, and I saved them for last because you actually need a network level of 10 just to come here. Speed UHC goes to F tier because the game wouldn't even start. No one was joining, I sat in the lobby alone for quite a while. Last but not least, UHC. Before joining into UHC, I really recommend just going to the arcade lobby and converting all the coins you have into UHC just to get some initial crafts. Time to wait for it to start. The game starts with a 10 minute grace period to gather your resources. I decided to go with Archer Kit because I'm not really known for my good sword skills. 
Before anything even happens, I would almost put money down that I die to a hacker. Well, I hope this guy doesn't put on his gear or something last second like I'm gonna do. There we go. Okay. Iron armor on. Oh, see you later, sucker. Did he live? How the heck did he live? Okay, that was uh, the freest kill of my entire life. Wow. One's on 27, the one in the back. Oh, the front one's in three. This is my kill. I kill stole him. Uh-oh. I'm dead. Yeah, uh, I died. Oh my gosh, how is he so fast? Bonus points for having a PvP area while you wait in the lobby. There's a hidden minigame in the lobby called uh, the tree jump, where basically you jump from here to here. I've never done it before, but I've seen it done. Oh, so close! <gasps> oh! I'll be seeing ya, buddy. Oh, shoot! Oh, yeah. Okay. Not what you thought it was, huh, buddy? Eight. I got him! I got him! I just had to bow spam him. Oh my gosh. Where did you come from? I keep getting flanked. I'm dead. No! Smell this for later? You asshole. Alright, time to make my gear. Oh my gosh! No! How did that happen? UHC is probably the most skill-based game mode on the entire network. The only reason it's not getting an S is because of the amount of hackers, which we surprisingly didn't run into. I took off all the ones that I wasn't gonna rank, and all that's left is Skyblock. And because of the Great Potato War, it will always hold a dear place in my heart. I have over 3,000 hours in the game, so I'm placing it at an S tier. If you guys want to play on this server and try out all the game modes for yourself, the IP is mc.hypixel.net. If you're wondering what mods I'm playing with, I'm playing on the Badline client, which gives a good FPS boost and makes it really easy to use mods. I also have a cloak in there which you could get 10% off of if you use the link in the description or just code SQUID. Guys, make sure to join my Discord because I do monthly Badline cloak giveaways in there and I'm trying to get partnered eventually, so just join it to help me out. Let me know which game mode you want to see me go more in depth in, and if you haven't already, like and subscribe!